Hello everybody. I bring greetings from King George's Medical University, Lucknow, India. I work as endocrine and breast surgeon and I'm going to talk on a very important issue that is, can we prevent development of breast cancer? Is breast cancer preventable? How? So there are certain risk factors which can influence the development of breast cancer. Risk factor may not directly cause cancer, but it influences the development of mutations which lead to growth in the cancer cells. So why are we talking about prevention? Because you see in India, 70% of the patients which we see with breast cancers, they come in very advanced stage. In West, unlike most are very screen detected tiny cancers and they have more than 90% survival rate compared to India where 50% of the patients that die, one out of two women treating with breast cancer, she dies because survival depends on the stage. And why to wait for breast cancer to develop? We should talk about prevention before, not don't let it happen. That's what is this? See, education matters. This is a statement by a survivor who says, being a survivor now, I realized I was not educated or aware about what breast cancer actually was and how it impacted and affected lives. In COVID pandemic era, breast cancer or any cancer did not wait. Doctors and patients struggled a lot in managing patients with cancers. And breast cancer is not a disease of only women. It also affects men. If you see, in 1990s, all the orange areas in India were very few, which shows the incidence rate of cancers. And in 2016, if you see, majority of the India has become orange or red, which shows that the incidence is rising every year. Now they say one in eight women is having the risk of developing breast cancer. What are we waiting for? One in one women? If you see earlier, all the blues 25 years back, breast cancer was a disease of old age happening after 50 to 60 years. But now if you see the red blocks, it is coming to the younger women in 30s and even in 20s. What is happening? Young people are dying of cancer. We are talking that not even a single cancer cell to develop. That is what prevention is. So we have a long journey to travel and to come back to the stage of prevention. What are the reasons of delay from patient's point? They ignore it as it is painless now mostly. They go for alternate medicines with a fear of finances. They are hesitant. This cancer is like a social stigma. They don't want to talk about it. There may be a huge distance between their home and the hospital that may involve the travel costs and the logistics. And then for women, unfortunately, who bears the treatment cost, the maternal side or the husband side? That is a very sad story. However, in common sectors, the cancer treatment is free, but even this information is not being available to people in the peripheries. They are scared to come to hospitals, but when they come, they come to know that treatment is free. Then the provider delay are also there because the uh, diagnostic facilities are not available everywhere. In the peripheries, they may not have labs or infrastructure to diagnose cancer. So their patients are referred late. There's lack of coordination between the doctors and they don't know where to refer. We don't have proper awareness programs to educate people about cancers and how to prevent it and their lack of support groups which can support people mentally, physically, spiritually, her every form to help them walk on the journey of cancer, unfortunately, if they have to. So the problems are there are no organized screening programs, late stage of presentation, increased cost of treatment, increased complications related to treatment, and above all, the survival rate is very low. So the solution is that we need to pay more attention to health promotion, which is ahead of clinical treatment. Why to wait for treatment? Why can't we prevent it? Prevention doesn't cost much money. I'm going to talk about risk factors which can be modified. We just have to relook, relook on our lifestyle. 
modern life is full of stress. People are running around everywhere. They have sleep deprivation. Because of high level of stress, what happens? Cortisol hormones go higher in body, which reduces immunity and promotes mutation so that the cancer cells, they develop and they grow. Alcohol and smoking are also the risk factors for causing cancer. Pregnancy and breastfeeding, however, is protective. But now, because of the modern lifestyle, women are opting to delay pregnancy and breastfeeding also is getting reduced. But we have to know breastfeeding is protective. So how can we detect an early stage, even if there is a cancer? We should know about breast self-examination. We should be aware of our own body. What changes are happening in our body, we should be aware about it. And then, if needed, we can have clinical breast examination by a doctor every six months, which is useful in developing countries because it doesn't cause much involved. If possible, we can go for mammography after 40 years of age, once in two years. However, if mammography is not feasible, at least breast self-examination and clinical breast examination is the choice. So the take home message is we should think pink. Pink represents breast cancer awareness and we should live green, have a healthy lifestyle. Breast cancer, yes, it is preventable. Provided we have a healthy lifestyle, we exercise regularly, we exercise, oxygenates the cells and reduces the cancer cells mutations. So we should have more informed lifestyle and healthcare choices. So knowing that breast cancer exists, the incidence is rising every year is not enough. We have to pass it on this information to others, create more awareness and create more awareness, especially about the preventable risk factors, which can modify and stop, even prevent the development of cancer. Thank you.